गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तबाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वाराणसी पुरपति भज भी सनाथ वागीशजुस्वने लक्ष्मीजस्व चक्षसी जैसे संसिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे राम भक्ति योग परिभावित सरोजवास से श्रुतेक्षित पतन नुनासपुंस जद जद धिया तो गाय विभावयति तत्द बपू प्रणय से सदनो गृहाम भक्ति योग परिभावित हित सरोजवास से श्रुतेक्षित पतन नुनाथ पुंस जद जद धिया तो गाय विभावयति तत्द बपू प्रणय से सदनो गृहाय गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट एक्चुअल भक्ति इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल स्ट्रेटेजी टू गेट दैट In order to get actual bhakti, if you have that desire to get actual bhakti inside your heart, then before that sixty-four types of limbs of bhakti, that that topmost sixty-four limbs of bhakti, that sixty-four limbs of different bhakti, in that the first and the foremost important limb is to take the shelter of Sadguru Charan, Lotus Feet of Sadguru. गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भक्ति दैट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट एक्चुअल भक्ति इफ यू हैव दैट डिजायर देन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक शेल्टर ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति दैट काइंड ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति द फर्स्ट एंड फोर मोस्ट लिम्ब ऑफ भक्ति is to take the shelter of uh, the lotus feet of sadguru why because to take the lotus feet of sadguru that is actually called that without that hari bhajan is not at all possible prabhupad speaking that sadguru charan that guru pad padma ashray if you are taking any how any how that you will not at all get any adhikar in bhakti no eligibility will be given to you in bhakti without the without the ashray of guru tatt without the ashray of guru tatt and to do shraman kirtan that is uh, next to impossible it will not bear any kind of fruit positive fruit it will not be giving any kind of positive fruit that actual ashray bhajan lot of people they in the name of ashray that that actual ashray means that by body speech and mind you are actually giving everything to guru pad padma that 100% in guru charan that you are actually giving it your false ego onto the lotus feet of guru varg it does it means that everything you are giving on to the lotus feet of guru varg when you are getting the pure good topmost grip of guru varg then only you can get the actual adhikar in uh, this uh, pure bhakti shri guru pad padma sadguru lotus feet on to his lotus feet when you are by not taking the ashray any how nobody will get the eligibility to do perform actual bhakti at all and 
without taking any ashray on to the lotus feet of pure guru vishnu of sad guru that shravan kirtan if you are doing also which is the actual topmost limb of bhakti that it will not it will give fruitless result no fruit will be bear by the action you are performing that ashrit means that sharanagati if it is not at all there then shravan kirtan smaran etc you are doing without sharanagati then it is only one sukriti will get uh, uh, get collected that's it understand the point what i'm speaking only sukriti will get collected that's it that without ashray if you are doing shravan kirtan then it will not at all bear any fruit it will remain fruitless that sharanagati if it is not at all there if you are doing shravan kirtan etc by that then only sukriti will get collected that's it and in actual that you will get uh, you will not get any uh, eligibility in pure pure seva pure bhakti only by doing by getting uh, bhakti i have already told you before also that bhagwan himself in the form of shastri he is coming in front of us in front dham naam parikar everything bhagwan is manifesting himself and in the form of uh, pure guru vishnu bhagwan is manifesting in front of us he himself is getting manifested in front of us in these forms and uh, if uh, we are getting guru as sat guru that is also just by our pure luck that is just the approval of bhagwan only then we are getting that with very uh, topmost luck positive luck if we are having that krishna kripa that sat guru we are getting in this life and those people who have just given everything on to the lotus feet of uh, guru charan ashray they have taken completely and he is not at all thinking of uh, his own enjoyment in order to just maintain his body and he is not at all maintaining every anything for his own enjoyment at all so everything he has given on to the guru pad padma and uh, what he is taking from for the service of guru pad padma he is taking everything for that not for his own enjoyment then krishna diksha and krishna shiksha that he is feeling to krishna diksha and krishna shiksha then possibility of krishna diksha and shiksha is possible partial exchange with gurudev it means that he has taken ashray of gurudev but still some kind of material enjoyment is there that partial exchange of uh, view with gurudev that partial exchange of sharanagati with guru pad padma atma nivedan then it will not be possible like that that by very partial exchange of sharanagati nothing will happen at all lot of times i have already discussed this point with you je sham sahish bhagwan dayed ananto sarvatmana siddha padam jadi varika ye dustaram भगवत दर्शन दैट द एक्चुअल पैथ वे भगवत प्राप्ति भगवत दर्शन वॉट इज दैट that shutakshit patanun nas punsha bhi hai that is the bhagavad darshan that to get bhagavad darshan that is the actual pathway of bhagavad seva shutakshit patanun nas punsha that is the actual pathway of bhagavad darshan shutakshit means that with these two naked eyes you that you are making the efforts to see with these two naked eyes first you just with your naked eyes two eyes that in order to just take tatva darshan that it he it will just be he will just get fall down from his book condition that's why so take shit first you need to do shravan and after doing shravan that darshan of uh, capacity of darshan 
in your heart will get uh, manifested and after that it is possible to do darshan before that if you will try to do darshan that's why it is written sutekshita pata it is uh, sanatan goswami bol already telling this point shobhananu grahe shuddha chitte bhagavata sanhita hai adau guru mukh me shobhananu that adau guru mukh from the lotus mouth of uh, gurudev only then after doing shravan then only you uh, you can get the manifestation of doing the darshan of bhagwan otherwise it is not possible to take darshan of bhagwan it will totally be useless on your part to take darshan like that so tekshit pad means first you have to you have to just get established in shrot pantha first you get to get established in shrot pantha first in shrot vani and just getting established in shrot vani and slowly steadily just uh, doing shravan then only you can see that tattva vastu you can have the darshan of tattva vastu nishchita meva that apart from that there is no other pathway open for you these all points bhagwan bhagwan परात पर अखिलेश्वर गोविंद जी स्पीकिंग टू ब्रह्मा ऑल दिस पॉइंट ऑल दिस पॉइंट एवरीथिंग ही हैज टोल्ड टू ब्रह्मा दैट पंच श्लोकी दैट ब्रह्म संहिता पंच श्लोकी इट इज द एक्चुअल फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ ब्रह्म संहिता यस टे आई थॉट that uh, i will be finishing that but after that i think that uh, by finishing it today some parts will be left because the survey of brahm samhita that from brahm samhita vishnu tatva shankar tatva maya tatva in order to understand that completely today i will be just uh, putting brahm samhita to finish for that you just uh, forgive me it is very much important to ask forgiveness for that because yesterday i was thought definitely we just need to uh, understand the tatva more clearly that in order to establish yourself in shrot pantha after that your eyes actual eyes are getting opened and after that the actual point of darshan is getting in front of you like that guru darshan is very much important before if you are getting guru darshan that by the actual point of uh, guru darshan Uh, dham darshan and bhagavad darshan is automatically done if guru darshan is not at all done now up till now then nothing can be done in your life at all guru darshan is the top most and very much important and the shlokas we are actually already speaking this but in order to realize that it is very much important to in to get into realization is very much important this point to get into realization is very much important this is very very important to get into realization guru pad padma that guru pad padma ka madhyam humko aprajit jagat dikha by the medium of guru pad padma only we can see the transcendental world lot of times bro bhakti bhakti and saraswati prabhupad so that guru pad padma is a transcendental medium medium through which i can see what is what there in apagati iska pehle darshan before that this vishila bhakti sansar swa tagur prabhu pad before that to take darshan is not at all possible at all that is called sutekshit pat that is that is called shrot pantha that is called sutekshit pathway and with challenging mood to do darshan bhagavad darshan is not at all possible and is not at all possible to understand that tatva darshan at all it is not at all possible yesterday in the 61 number shlok we were actually discussing after that i thought that okay it should be get finished today but after that i thought that i have already just told that it is already finished but no it's not good maybe we can speak it is finished but still uh, very f- the actual survey that so much time we are actually discussing brahm samhita in that survey again vishnu tatva very deep vichar shankar tatva and devi tatva we will be discussing it in very details and to yesterday 
ज्ञान परित्याज्यो मामेकम भजो विश्वसम जादृशी जादृशी श्रद्धा सिद्धिर भवती तादृशी कुर्वन निरंतरम कर्मो लोको अयम अनुवर्तते तेनैव कर्मना ध्यायन मान परम भक्ति मिच्छत इस बारे में कल चर्चा हुआ दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यस्टरडे अबाउट दिस पॉइंट्स व्हिच वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड लौकिक एंड पारलौकिक उपाधि व्हाट एवर काइंड ऑफ टाइटल धर्म आर देयर मनोधर्म समाज धर्म all actually titled dharm just by uh, quitting that leaving that bhagwan speaking to brahma that with full faith he is actually speaking that you just need to do bhajan of me with full faith that shraddha as it is go on increasing in your life according to that that you will get the swarup siddhi according to that and immediately in this material world all the time those who, whole material world is actually getting deep into the ocean of karma all the time they are doing karma that's it this whole material world and each and every person so bonded jeevas are all actually diving into the ocean of material maya and uh, according to those karms only bhagwan already told to brahma ji maharaj that according to those karma that we need need to uh, they we need they they need to focus on me in order to establish para bhakti inside their heart and they can get that para bhakti very easily just by establishing myself in the heart about this that uh, after that some of this point is told by brahma ji and that apart from this top most thing is nothing in this material world that is previous lok 7th number चतुश्लोक की भागवतम फ्रॉम दैट फ्रॉम द लास्ट श्लोक आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन एंड द प्रूफ दैट भगवान श्री कृष्ण स्पीकिंग भगवान का ये आशीर्वाद है ब्रह्मा के ऊपर दैट इज एक्चुअल कृपा ऑफ भगवान ऑन ब्रह्मा जी महाराज दैट इज द एक्चुअल कृपा ऑफ भगवान ऑन ब्रह्मा जी महाराज रिगार्डिंग दिस दैट यू कैन डू द क्रिएशन वर्क विद द डिजायर टू डू क्रिएशन दैट डेफिनेटली द डिजायर इज देयर ऑफ क्रिएशन टू डू इन साइड ब्रह्मा that uh, just by dividing it in rajogun brahma is actually just getting the, uh, configured in rajogun and bhagwan still is actually acceptable inside shankar bhagwan that tamogon actually is there inside the heart bhagwan is actually just accepting his seva from uh, uh, shankar bhagwan so this is the actual rules after that actually it is written that in the last shloka of the shloka bhagavatam also we told this is the actual kripa of bhagwan that uh, ba- still brahma ji is doing the creation work but still your heart will not at all get re- attracted towards any kind of material things at all it will not be possible this is my actual kripa on you total blessing i am giving on to you in the last shlok also in the 62 number shloka in 62 number shloka bhagwan actually speaking that i am the only i am the origin of everything and that diver, what diversification you are feeling that is also because of me actually that i am everything i am the origin of all and inside and outside wherever you are going this shloka 
भगवान भगवान पंचो श्लोक में इन दिस फाइव श्लोक वॉट काइंड ऑफ उपदेश इज गिवन टू ब्रह्मा जी दैट द लास्ट उपदेश ऑफ दैट इज सीट when it is getting converted into grass when from the seed that kind of germination of after it is getting the germination that if it is getting full nourishment then only it is getting a transformed into nice vegetable after that it is possible to get maturity and nourishment iyam pradhanam prakritihi pramansha maya hitam अहितम मया अहितम तेजो ईदम विवर्षी विधे विधे ही तम अथो जगंती जब बीज when the seed it is just getting converted into tree तो बीज दिखता then you cannot see the seed which was actually bought by you you will cannot see the seed this is the actual rules but about भगवान it's already told भुवनोत्रुम अबाउट भगवान इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न दैट भगवान इज भुवनोत्रुम दैट भगवान इज कॉल्ड भुवनोत्रुम इट मीन्स ऐसा ना समझे यू डोंट थिंक लाइक दैट दैट भगवान हैज जस्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म हिमसेल्फ and now he has just manifested Asa himself in after transformation don't think Bhagawan like that that uh, Bhagawan Bhagawan just Bhagawan by getting this uh, vikar if someone is thinking opposite then it is very much bad to think like that about this i have already told this regarding bhagwan that may be bhagwan from this whole material world has come but by the maya of bhagwan only it is come that bhagwan is by just transforming himself into some other species and the actual action fruit of the material world this kind of tot is totally wrong siddhant that in shabd shloki gita also it is written karsharam brahma bharanam anusmaran ya prayati dayan deham sayati parmand sthane sthane मनोरणीयरोगम After this, what it is written here, that is very much important to understand. This shloka, what I told you, that I am going to slew, speak. It's very much important to understand. What actually written here? शाख्यम असत्यम प्राहुरपय छन्यांसी यस्सु परनानी यस्तम वेद सफेद वेद ऐसा करके व्याख्या सो लाइक दिस एक्चुअलिटी इज गेटिंग डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑन दिस भगवान जगत Bhagwan in the form of this material world is coming here. This kind of uh, which are actually is being spoken by Maya Vadi, but our God is Darshan. That Parinam Vadi, there is no place at all. There is no 
kind of confidence because they cannot prove that she they cannot prove this at all that bhagwan in this material world is actually taking uh, uh, actually everything has come from bhagwan only directly or indirectly but the actual point is that that bhagwan that swarup of bhagwan that uh, he has just given darshan to brahma ji bhagwan has given darshan to brahma ji also definitely it is there bhagwan ka jo bhagwan the shakti of bhagwan shakti ka parinam that is the actual result of that shakti only that mayavadi is parinam va that is not at all good bhagwan ka jo maya that bhagwan's maya that maya is actually taking the form in the form of uh, this material world that is getting transformed into that but bhagwan that his body and bhagwan so everything is uh, eternal and uh, all interrelated to bhagwan only bhagwan that all those mayavadi according to their vichar maybe it is like that that bhagwan in this material world has just manifested himself that is actually totally wrong conception lot of vichar are there that shakti shun that bhagwan they are not at all having faith in shakti lot of things are there which i can describe very describe very easily about mayavadi that from vedas only this sakal vad vedant in the form of vedant it is coming in front of us and ved virudh sankhya patanjal nayan and vedant sammato they are all actually busy with karma kand only Yes, by taking the shelter of Vedant only, then all these kind of false conception can come to an end. That the actual uh, purinam of the shakti of Bhagwan, like in case of Gita, like in case of Gita, Bhagwan is speaking to Arjun openly. That my only anch is there. The jivas are all my anch. All my parts and parcels are all the jivas. And someone actually is speaking opposite and thinking oppositely. That Bhagwan himself speaking. What does it mean? It what? No, it's not like that. Jiv is not uh, only. No, Jiv is not at all eternal passion. This which are, it should be there definitely. This all I've already told you. Bhagwan that Bhagwan, there are about three shaktis, special uh, major uh, shaktis are there, and other shaktis are maybe hidden. That Bhagwan Swarup Shakti is there inside Bhagwan only. Jeev Shakti is there inside Bhagwan, but still it is not there in Jeev at all. That Bhagwan is there it's itself in the in inside the heart of Bhagwan, but exactly inside the heart Bhagwan it is not at all there. Just by taking the support of a Chintya Beda Beda Tattva, then only this can come into realization. otherwise it's not at all possible to get it in realization at all so like this is the case that bhagwan swarup shakti is there inside him and tatastha shakti where it is tatastha shakti someone actually speaking inside bhagwan no not at all there tatastha shakti not inside bhagwan tatastha shakti is simultaneously different and non different from bhagwan 
भेद एंड अवेन बोथ आर देयर एंड माया शक्ति ऑलरेडी नो दैट ऑल वी आर बॉन्डेड सोल्स आर ऑल फॉलन इन दिस माया सो माया शक्ति हैज सो मच माया शक्ति सो मच पावर अबाउट दिस देर इज नो नीड टू स्पीक अबाउट एनी थिंग बट अबाउट दिस शक्ति भगवान दिस भगवान दैट वॉट ऑलरेडी भगवान इन गीता नॉट एट ऑल स्पीकिंग अबाउट टटस्ता शक्ति एट ऑल अबाउट टटस्ता शक्ति इट इज नॉट एट ऑल रिटर्न इन गीता इट इज रिटर्न इन गीता दैट दीवाज आर माई ओनली पार्ट्स एंड पार्सल सो इफ द जीवाज आर माई ओन अंश माई जस्ट थिंकिंग ऑफ दिस विचार इट मीन डजेंट मीन दैट भगवान यू आर एक्चुअली कटिंग इन टू वेरी वेरी स्मॉल पीसिस एंड देन दैट जीवाज आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग फॉर्म दिस इज नॉट द केस एट ऑल इफ सम वन स्पीकिंग ऑपोजिट दैट भगवान हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग दैट जस्ट बाई कटिंग योर सेल वेरी स्लोली सो टेल मी भगवान इस चीज वस्तु दैट यू कैन जस्ट वेरी इजिली कट दैट सुप्रीम वस्तु दिस इज एक्चुअली टोटली रॉन्ग कंसेप्शन सो दिस इज द केस वॉट टू डू सो वॉट इज द केस देन द एक्चुअल विचार इज देयर दैट भगवान भगवत शक्ति दैट भगवत शक्ति दैट इट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम भगवान कंप्लीटली भगवत सर्वन भगवत शक्ति इज एक्चुअली नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम भगवान हिमसेल्फ शक्ति इट मीन्स द शक्ति एंड शक्ति शक्तिमान एंड शक्ति दे आर नॉट नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इज अदर सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस ओनली भगवान स्पीकिंग इट डजेंट मीन दैट यू आर एक्चुअली कटिंग भगवान इट स्मॉल सॉल पीसिस टू का भेदावेद प्रकाश एट यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग जीवस फ्रॉम दे आर so like mayavad is if you are making vichar that the actual vichar of brahm samhita in depth vichar it will all get lost completely that just by taking the shelter of mayavad shri brahm samhita that topmost vichar will just get vanquished and destroyed so see very nicely it is spoken here oh vidhi just open your ears and hear with full attention that oh vidhi just hear your ears and open it that i that we are uh, there on this jalajal vishay that the actual desire of the creation of this material world i am giving that kind of inspiration and dharm moolam hi vishnu means that previously from gita i have already told you now just now about this already i have told so be so the actual seed is actually hidden when seed is actually getting build up in a uh, victory because then seed can you cannot see seed at all but it doesn't mean that you will be just started crying are where is the actual seed where is it the tree is there the seed is not at all there if you are not at all understand then what to do we, we can't do anything in there so this kind of uh, tree how it is getting germinated that is the actual question that the formation of child the formation of tree and then the formation of branches and uh, leaves lot of process is there of that Oh, Vidhi, just open your ears and hear that I am that the actual seed of this Jalachal. Uh, I am actually the Pradhan. I am the possibility of this creation. I am the Pradhan Tattu. I am this Prakriti. Bhagwan Himself speaking this point. that this is actually prakriti that i am the only purush and nobody is there apart from me at all yeah purush sabko here just by speaking purush 
but this is not comparable with gents and ladies at all. The Purush means Paurush, that by their power everything is done on their own. That same, that Brahma Ji, Oh Vidhe, Oh Brahma, inside you, what kind of Brahma Tej is there inside you? This also has given up to you. From where you have got that kind of... I have already given it to you. Nobody is there at all to get it. And sometimes, some... Those who are doing some vichar, they are actually going to up, up to this conclusion that Nirvishesh Brahm is the actually getting uh, the shape of uh, Savikar. This is completely nonsense to hear. I want to discuss this point, but still I am actually touching it a bit. Like the vichar of Mayavadi is there. That to get the actual intelligence of a snake to have that as kind of ordinary. Sorry, to have a just uh, for, forgive me to have uh, the conception of snake in an ordinary rope that one rope is actually hanging and I am thinking that it is one it is snake so just forgive me for that I will speak it uh, in opposite way that one ordinary rope is actually hanging and I have that brahm of having a, a conception of snake in an ordinary rope so Mayavadis are actually making this conception that this material world is not at all there it is just one dream that this material world is just one kind of dream they are speaking. They are actually no truth is there. But of, of this Mahaprabhu already spoken that this material world not at all dream. But the, this material world is temporary. This which are already Mahaprabhu has told that this material world is not at all there. This is one kind of dream. It is actually totally misconception. And Mahaprabhu is speaking that you see that uh, this material world is not l- as useless as dream but this material world in which we are living this is just a temporary in nature that it is it is directly coming from Bhagwan. that directly it is coming from Bhagwan. you will not we will not at all accept Paramanvad at all now now that uh, about uh, the rope, I am giving one example. Like there is one ordinary rope in the night time it is hanging. And from very distant place we are fe- feeling as it is a snake. So the actual which are of Mayavad is totally false. That is material world is not at all there. It is one kind of dream. No, Mahaprabhu speaking. Definitely world is there. But material world how can't be there? But this material world is temporary. For a very short time it is there. You just need to understand this point. If that this uh, you have this conception of Mayavadi, this vichar of Mayavadi, that kind of uh, own uh, interpretation they are giving. Okay, Jeev Goswami Padayana Mar Guru Bhag speaking. Okay. What we can do, but that definitely this is true. That snake definitely somewhere or other it is there. If we have that direct experience of snake, if we have direct experience of snake, someone not having, then when snake is actually biting, so much uh, uh, so much uh, pain we are feeling. It means that snake here is inside ordinary robe we are actually feeling the actual brahm of snake inside one hanging rope and we are thinking that it is actually snake okay but this just by speaking this snake this thing definitely it is there if snake is not at all there that thing that object then why you are actually fearing what is the actual fear if no object like snake is there it means that their whole vichar is totally wrong And about this I have already told you yes, previously as well that whatever is there in this material world and what it is not at all available in this material world each and every 
each and every the thing is there in other Gyanta only. That infinity Brahman, what is there in this infinity Brahman? Everything is uh, according to Achinta Bhedave Tattva, that is actually Adya Gyan Tattva. But according to Gaudiya Vichar, this Achinta Bhedave Tattva inside that, Bhagavan is actually one, but still he is actually becoming the Prabhu. It means to unity in diversity and diversity in unity. Unity, this is the actual vichar. But um, the Mayavadi vichar, if we are making, then are we are actually accepting Adya Gyantatva. Okay, you can accept that. What is your wish? Whatever be your wish. But the actual vichar of Mayavadi is that, that Adya Gyantatva, that there is no other tattva apart from that. Okay, that's right. But um, Mayavadi, this vichar of Mayavadi, it is totally wrong. Why? Because maybe that Bhagavad Tattva is actually Adya Gyan Tattva. This is actually confirmed in Srimad Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana also. It is confirmed, but still that inside Bhagavan, that infinity uh, distinction is there. That Bhagavan, that by Achinta Veda Tattva only, that Bhagavan it can be Adya Gyan Tattva, but Adya Gyan Tattva, it doesn't mean that in Bhagavan there is some, no speciality is left at all. No special attribute is there for Bhagavan, it's not like that. It means unity in diversity and diversity in unity. But the external people are not really understanding this point at all. So I have already told you that whatever things are there, Bhagwa, from Bhagavad Gita Purana, I have told. That everything is Bhagwan. That is the actual fi- topmost fixed point. Some people they are thinking that Ishwar is actually uh, very special, and Chit and Achind. That is nothing. This is all which are actually that uh, Ramanucharya Vishishta Dvaita Vad that I have just uh, already done it in English also. The same Vishishta Dvaita Vad. It means that Bhagavan Swarup is not at all there. It's not like that. That Brahma when is taking some kind title and taking the Avirbhav or at that point, that body, it means that from Chinmay Jiva, that is there and what those who have actually taken this body, whosoever, that is also one kind of speciality. That Brahma, like this, it's already there. That all actually is coming from Sahitya, uh, Sahitya Brahma from where actually it has come actually everything has come from Brahma and this vichar in that you can find that that uh, the Sarant vichar there Ramanachar is speaking that uh, all the bodies of uh, uh, trees and cows every insect that they have different different kind of bodies what we can see but Ramanujara has only one simple darshan. He is speaking the actual point here. That by Maya, actually we are getting this darshan. So this is actually Vishishta. That Jiva's body and some speciality he has given. Everything is Brahmastu. This all actually correctly speaking but uh, in actual uh, puppet it is some kind of mistake is there so whatever be the case yesterday I tried to just speak on to this point yesterday this is only one Adya Gyan Tata, that on the basis of Achinta Shakti sometimes in the form of Advait Swarup sometimes in the form of Advait and and sometimes Sapsidhant is coming that Shakti Shunya Advaita Vadi, they are actually speaking. So all these kind of fight infighting which is going on in between them, 
दैट परम सत्य वस्तु इट्स सच अ थिंग दैट लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर एक्चुअली फाइटिंग विद ईच अदर रिगार्डिंग दैट केस सो एंड फ्रॉम वेदास दैट डिफरेंट वेदांत सूत्र दैट एक्चुअली इज गेटिंग Uh, manifested so all these just by leaving all this kind of sarvatra that uh, without having a vishuddha sat inside we cannot uh, understand the actual purport of the vedant all these different kind of uh, topmost yogic purva mimamsha adivade baat ki that about purva mimamsha that purva that previously what actually is done that vedant in order to get that established in vedant only that all kind of tatva siddhant can get established and what bhagwan has actually speaking here bijam pradhanam prakritihi pumanksha maya ahitam teju idam divarsi विचार आउट ऑफ दैट दैट That prakriti parinam bad. That is actually correct. That Bhagavan is Brahm Vastu parinam bad. That is not at all good. And Brahm Samita, on the basis of Brahm Samita, Bhakti Vinod Thakur under the guidance of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, we will be just discussing slightly in details about in Brahm Samita that what maya tatva is there that is material world we can see this cosmic manifestation that i have already told you in brahm samhita regarding that that palaya sadana shakti reka chaiva jasya bhavanani vivarti durga ichchan rupam api jasyo cha chistati sa gobindamali purusham tamam bajangi atat sarusha it means that swarup shakti when that becoming a shadow swarup that uh, destruction maintenance and creation that maya shakti is the actual shakti which you can see but it's just the shadow this durga ji by on the who is actually running on the instruction of that uh, govind on which instructions she is actually moving that durga durga that adi purush govind i am actually doing bhajan of that adi govind purush in the, in that material world that Brahma is actually there and doing the creation work, and has given the Golok Nath stuff. In that, uh, Brahma Ji is getting established in that material world. Then he is giving the Stotra stuff of uh, Golok Nath. What we are getting in the form of Brahm Samhita. It's actually getting the form of Brahm Samhita, and still Mahaprabhu has given the importance to Brahm Samhita as well. that cell 14 planetary system of this devi dham and that adas adishtatri devi is durga the presiding deity of this material world is dev durga that puja means that for karma what kind of particular karm you are doing with that material karm you are performing so kali ma so you can see in the case of kali ma that she don't have wear any kind of cloth but her hands it's just kapda just like some cloth is given to devi it means that devi is the sign of karma material karma and mundmala means that uh, the uh, mala of uh, mala of uh, skulls different skulls is there wore on the kalima which this is the actual vichar which signifies that that in the skull that which are consciousness is there and our which are our intelligence is there in our skull so this is the actual which are we just need to make sure that gyan daini she is giving all the knowledge so that same durga 
that uh, ten kinds of karma, that ten puja, ten worship, that about that uh, everyone is actually giving a uh, ten kind of upasya worshipable uh, things in the market. So in the same way, Devi is also representing in our Bengali. What actually is the name? I don't know at all. But in Bengali, it is actually is called dash karma, dash karma puja. It means that ten kinds of different articles of worship actually is given in the market. So that is actually signified by Kali Maya. So that same May Kali Devi Maya Durga, she is actually established in full uh, strength and power of this material world in Bengali. Also, I have spoken Shiva Bahini and Pap. The actual birth of Kartik and Ganesh. And in the sinful activities, different different kind of. Uh, and she is actually Ashtadharini taking different different kind of uh, symbol of swords in her hands. She is Shakti Sobini. This all, this all Akar Vishist, that Durga, which signifying that, that same Durga, that Durga Vishist. Durga means there is one court, one kind of jail for all the Jeevas, that is called Durga. That Tathastha Shakti, all the Jeevas who are actually coming from Tathastha Shakti, they are actually Krishna Bahirmukh. When they are actually Bahirmukh, we don't know that. When they are actually Bahirmukh from infinity period, they are actually Bahirmukh from Krishna. That in this material world, that kind of prison they are put it into all the time. That is called Durga. That is the actual fort of Durga. That Karma Chakra, the circle of birth, and that infinity. It is coming from infinity. It is just one kind of punishment given to the Tathastha Jivas. That it is also one kind of punishment. And for Bahirmukh Jivas, that kind of uh, that Sadan Panani Vashishta. That by the will of Govind only this uh, uh, cycle of karm actually is being run by Durga Devi by the will of Govind only. So whatever be the case here, so this is the actual thing about Durga Tattva. And inside Jeevas, that Linga Deha, that subtle form of their body and the fine body also which also in Chaitanya Jirtamri it is written regarding this. Just by catching the Pishachi, as the same case is being done for a person when ghost is getting caught up in our body. In the same way, this our subtle body, you just leave it and fine body if it is there inside our subtle body. If it is, uh, after it you are getting, uh, you can, after taking bath in Virija, you can go to Haridham. Before that, it is not at all possible to go to Haridham at all. Why? Because this fine body, this very fine form of your body inside, that is the actual infinity cause of your bondage and infinity cause of your birth and death. It is actually going on because of this uh, linga sharir, this fine body, because of that only. Infinity, birth after birth you are giving. So just by having this fine body to just take bath in the Virja river that uh, Jiva can go to uh, the Haridham. So this all kind of thing what you can see this just by the kripa of Govind only what is going on that same Govind I am that is the actual Mool Tattva that is the actual reason Govind is the actual cause in this material world what we are seeing that Durga Puja that, but in Bhagavad Dham that kind of worship of Durga Dev is not at all there that that Avarat Devata means Ganpati, Durga, they are not at all available. They are our Avaran Devata. They are all in this material world. Just uh, that uh, they are just uh, uh, capping the Supreme Lord by just want to uncap themselves in front of others. But by just uncapping Bhagwan, this kind of quality is there in all the demigods. And the shadow Durga, what you can see the case in this material cosmic manifestation, you can see that uh, in order to give us punishment she has just made one kind of fort or prison for all the Tathastha Jeevas she has actually made that and developed that for those Tathastha Jeevas so that they can uh, 
get punished and can uh, know about their actual situation and that same yog maya that antaranga shakti of bhagwan if she want to bless us then that she will not at all come in front of us as ma maya at all she will come in front of us in the form of yog maya that podama porama you see external persons will go then she will give her them darshan as ma maya she can just come in form of mama in front of all those external material people she can just manifest that in front of them and uh, but in front of all those pure devotees she is actually manifesting her swarup as uh, yog maya and when you are not at all getting on to the platform of mukta that kind of durvasana desires lust it will not at all go away at all they should get out of that bondage completely you can understand this point what is written by bhaktivinoda thakur is written in the kirtan of bhaktivinoda thakur if our fine body is gone then only it is possible to get out of bondage so that same durga that is one oh, same devi that in front of asura she is actually taking the form of uh, mahamaya or durga and that same durga that same devi in front of pure devotees that yoga maya antaranga shakti is coming in the form of pure devotee in front of pure devotees is coming in form of yoga maya that uh, that bhagavad dham avrat devata they are and they are uncapping bhagwan that you will uh, recognize bhagwan very easily without any kind of uh, uh, efforts it is not at all possible before I, because i have already told you this point again and again this i have already told you uh, before only this point bhagwat that the in the form of the servant maid servant of bhagwan she is actually working just she is actually working as a maid servant of bhagwan in the form of yog maya durga that is your inside brahm samhita on the basis of brahm samhita shila sachitanand bhakti mat thakur anugatya that durga tatva it means devi tatva i have already described in front of you and in brahm samhita on the basis of brahm samhita that shambhu tatva definitely i will be discussing that after that vishnu tatva and after that brahm samhita that total uh, discussion we will just finish it today from in brahm samhita already it is written that uh, lot of time before i have just made one discussion also regarding this sharama devi tat priya tad vasham tatha jalingan bhagavan shambhur jatir rup sanatana jayunihi sa para shakti kam bijam mahad hare lingo junyatmaka शक्ति स्वरूप तीज शक्ति रूपा दैट रमा शक्ति दैट नियत नियत रूपी भगवत प्रिया एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ क्रिएशन at the time of creation at the time of creation that kind of prapanch which is made by that the actual ansh of the krishna that uh, that about uh, this bhagwan have already told in gita and about this after that another uh, more, more shlokas are there that my in my under my guidance that prakriti is suyate characharam means that she is under my guidance so bhagwan when at the time of creation when she he is actually looking at prakriti just by looking at prakriti just by that glance only that 
that whatever kind of previous karma all the jivas are getting inside the womb of the prakriti automatically they are going just by the glance of that mahavishnu it is actually being uh, imbibed in the womb of the prakriti and uh, jivas because of their previous uh, karma and kalp what they have done different different kind of bodies they are actually taking that and they are actually getting established by taking that kind of uh, fine uh, subtle bo- for subtle body made of five elements जैत चित शक्ति रूपा रमा शक्ति ज्योति रूपा भगवत प्रिया एट द टाइम ऑफ क्रिएशन दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रपंचिक सप्टल एंड फाइन बॉडी दे आर गेटिंग वॉट यू आर एक्चुअली सींग दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड सनातन ज्योति आभास दैट इज कॉल्ड सनातन ज्योति आभास दैट सेम लिंग दीज दैट सेम काइंड ऑफ फाइन बॉडी इट इज एक्चुअली इट इज injustice with total in toto with that uh, maya tatva and with niyati and with full niyati that prasodini shakti actually is getting manifested that same apara shakti that maya is the actual swarup of that maya shakti that same apara shakti that ling yoni these are all technical terminologies i can't actually speak that in english because it is definitely all these are technical terms which can be spoken in sanskrit only there is no actual translation of this in english so in the same way you just need to understand what i'm speaking here very carefully that just by taking when in the same way when that this which are is actually going on so whatever be the case by the actual uh, sangyog sangyog means just by the actual uh, unification that all the jeev uh, jeevas are actually just uh, by the glance of mahavishnu all the jeevas are going through into the womb of maheshwari devi just by the glance of mahavishnu all the jeevas are just traveling through that light by the glance of mahavishnu and when that creation is done that uh, saransh sanatan jyoti is actually getting manifested on that actually is called 12 jyotirlinga you can speak that same that sanatan jyoti that is actual adhar of sanatan doji that same linga that it is actually uh, that kind of prapanch made of five elements that uh, fine and subtle body is being made because of that and that the jivas are getting their uh, own body that is called apara shakti and that which is actual swarup of maya which all the time we are actually just thinking as uh, the maya swarup so b- both of them in between just because of the unification of both of them what will happen that kind of unification uh, between the ling and uh, uh, the uh, maya prakriti that that reflected kambi is getting inside each and every jiva and all the jivas in this material world what you can see all those jivas in this material world that all those uh, material jivas that maheshwari uh, prakriti she they are actually taking birth from them that shishti kaam yukt sankarshan that uh, at the time of creation of prapanch krishna anmukt that karan vayani at the time of the creation and just by seeing that having a glance on maya devi because of that then only all the jivas are getting into the womb of that maheshwari prakriti and if someone speaking that uh, that your uh, srishti kaam that kind of sankarshani prapanch that made of five elements and in between this creation because of this creation only that this is the actual nimitta karan upadan karan and nimitta karan two causes are there i have already told you many times before regarding this tat that so this that in the form of jyoti by the glance of mahavishnu when it is coming into the womb of prakriti like somnath badrinath ankaleshwar rameshwaram all 12 different jyotirlings it is getting manifested in this material world 
that is just the actual compact form of this jyoti that is called shambhur linga what you can see then after that when when you go forward that sometimes that those who are worshiping shivling or those someone having no kind of desire at all for material creation then he can just worship that with that and that mahatatva roop kaam beej or that kind of abhas reflection of that that they are actually just getting into this creation work because of that kaam uh, beej shadow abhas of that kaam beej and just by the actual it is actually my called hiranyamay tatva or that shambhu ling association of shambhu and the prakriti that kind of creation uh, of prakriti with the shambhu ling that is actually that is actually called manarupi tatva that uh, that is actually from the previous vichar that actual deep vichar inside this is that that nimit and upadan karan the the actual deep meaning is that nimit and upadan karan that purush that that the by the kripa just by the will of that purush only that this creation is being done nimit is uh, nimit karan is maya and upadan karan is advait gosai shambhuling i've already told you that uh, shambhu and in the form of ling it is getting manifested and mahavishnu that purush that just by his will only this creation is being done and the mahatatva all these kind of things are upadan karan and nimit karan is called the maya and adharmay prakriti tatva is maya nimit karan what you call so in golok that kam beej what you can find in purest form that topmost seed of kama in golok when you are finding that transcendental kam beej that shakti kam beej in the golok dham what you can find that uh, seed of kama you can find and that shadow shakti you can see in this material world as the shadow of that uh, kam seed and still lot of uh, actually uh, reasons and proofs are there regarding this about the transcendental and material kam seed and bhagwan that chatuspad vibhuti that is also one kind of opulence what bhagwan is actually manifesting and inside that that ashok amrit means ashok amrit amrit aadhar tumaro charano to hai eti pad vibhuti that three pad vibhuti what you can see that is inside that all that opulent mood is being manifested by bhagwan and in this creation that all kind of demigods and all kind of different different kind of create create creations you can see of the shadow maya it is uh, looks like that he has some kind of speciality but it doesn't have it is just the shadow of that speciality of that transcendental golok dham and by this uh, material scientific explanations whatever kind of uh, imag- uh, imaginative thinking we are having that this is all actually it is all actually just by our mental speculation only that even all those uh, material creation what you can find it is just by the actual unification of that uh, purush and prakriti that maybe this uh, ling this external uh, external word of ling is actually very bad externally but bhakti no tagur speaking that this kind of terminology we have to use because this is just one kind of common terminology or that of the word ling that is a technical term which we are using in order to signify that and we need to understand that completely and i have already told you shakti shakti man purush shakti man purush aur so ayam ling rupi maheshwara tasmin navir mahavir rabhu linge maha vishnu jagatpati bahut sare vichar lot of vichar are there actually samashti guru tatva that samashti guru tatva and veshti guru tatva samashti samashti antaryami this also and this i very much important to understand this point at all because in prakriti those who are we are actually already imbibed to prakriti all the time and about vishnu tatva also lot of things are there but in very gist i have to speak that same mahavishnu swayam that from the bam ang of vishnu that from the south end that prajapati 
and different and from the eyebrow middle portion actually shambhu tatva is getting manifested that jyotir langamay that 12 kinds of jyotir ling is getting manifested from the bit two uh, parts of the eyebrows about that in brahm samhita already that shloka is shloka is there that very some speciality of the shloka is very much important to understand that shambhu tatva is and krishna tatva is all the same dugd like the milk you are seeing milk if you are any how you are just by this is technical term when you are speaking you are transforming it into curd you can convert the milk into curd no so in the same way you can convert that into curd but that from that curd uh, it is a curd and milk are non different but still uh, that milk and curd that tat that is not at all different at all it is the same that where the from the mill they are non different from each other but like milk is getting transformed into curd that it can gets converted into curd it means it cannot be possible that curd curd can again be converted into milk it's no impossible so like this that same speciality we are actually getting that same adi purush govind i am actually doing the bhajan of that adi govind pur adi purush govind just by achintya veda ve tatva uh, shambhu tatva and krishna tatva is all the same it is non different from krishna tatva shambhu is uh, non different from krishna tatva that it is also ishwar tatva that same bhagwan bhagwat tatva it is shambhu tatva and krishna tatva is all the same and ishwar tatva that it is directly it is uh, uh, signified as ishwar those who are having this kind of uh, 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 prithak buddhi or difference inside their intelligence those who are actually apradi on to the lotus feet of bhagwan and those who are actually having lot of jealousy towards shambhu tatva or not at all liking the jan- uh, shambhu tatva for them that uh, ishwarta of govind that the ishwarta of govind that kind of effect of the strength and power of the ishwarta of govind the opulent mood of govind that kind of uh, um, opulent mood also that bed and abhed tatva it is catch, actually getting signified by that so it is the actual significance of abhed tatva that is like the from milk it is getting converted to curd but, but again from curd it is not at all possible to get it converted into milk it is not at all possible it is not at all possible this process is not possible so that kind of tadru vikar in that yoga that ishwar is actually is actually non different from ishwar but still he is not at all independent from that uh, topmost uh, ishwar tatva uh, govind so that same swarup that independence of that same swarup is not at all there and maya and that tamogun of the maya and tathasta position all these things and chit shakti that khaladini mishri samvit shakti it is actually getting transformed into that before that it is not at all possible to get that at all that ishwar jyotirmay shambhulinga tatva it is getting manifested it means that sada shiv is not different from that uh, and that rudra in the form of tamogun is getting manifested out of that sada shiv tatva that all the other people are getting uh, uddhar uddhar how i can speak in english and all kind of creation work is being done by the rudra that vibhinna ansh bhava that swarup that in the form of shambhu 
that that is actually called the guna avatar of govind shambhu is the actually kalpurush that is the actual guna avatar of govind shambhu in bhagavad ji mahapuran also it is written it is already written in bhagavad ji mahapuran at the time of creation that all kind of mahatatva or different different kind of ingredients required and sometimes as the asuras are getting defeated and in the sanskar all kind of uh, different different vibhinna ansh bhav that is getting manifested that same govind gunavatar in the form of shambhu um, maybe it can be but only shambhu is the kal purusha and only shambhu is the actual gunavatar of govind that kal purushot actually is getting manifested of shambhu only on the basis of proof if you want to hear that how it is possible on the basis of the commentary that vaishnavanam that the on the basis of that bhagavatam vaishnavanam eta shambhu this that that same shambhu in the that bhagwan shambhu that same bhagwan shambhu that by shiv kal shakti that that is that it is getting a unification with durga devi and just be the cause of the creation of this cosmic manifestation what you can see and is all the time doing the creation work with the help of prakriti and in tantra adi and other shastra actually it is written lot of instructions are given regarding the bhakti and other instructions are also given and in shambhu jeevas they are 55 uh, different different kind of qualities are there in the jeevas of the shambhu and uh, jeevas that they are having don't have that independent complete qualities of themselves and govind on his own wish in the form of gunavatar of shambhu in order to just protect the shuddha bhakti govind is uh, doing and uh, they are just uh, uh, kicking away all those asuras that shambhu definitely that 50 qualities of the jeevas are in total and those who are incomplete five qualities which are there in shambhu that is incomplete in all those jeevas so shambhu are having 55 special qualities that only actually it is win vibhin ansh tatva from the ishwar so that's why he is having 55 qualities which means five additional qualities from the jeeva and now this i will be just uh, discussing about the vishnu tatva now and after that i'll be giving a uh, rest uh, on to this uh, last uh, instructions of uh, brahm samhita i'm just giving you one survey of brahm samhita that in brahm samhita about vishnu tatva it's actually openly spoken there लाइक आई गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल दैट फ्रॉम द मेजर लैम्प major lamp of light from that jyoti or that uh, fire lamp that different different kind of uh, ignition of different different lamps are actually getting burned up by that same major lamp and in all the directions that all lu- luminosity is so much so much uh, luminosity it is having so in that that uh, major uh, lamp will definitely be there and that same major lamp that means krishna that just by taking the kripa all actually vishnu tatva were getting into the service of krishna that same major lamp which is actually used to burn up all the different different lamps in order to uh, luminify everything so lot of vichar is there regarding this lot of vichar is there you just need to understand that i will not be discussing that much because we don't have this much time to discuss we don't have this kind of uh, 
uh, eligibility to discuss so much so so here that that hari dham adhishtata vishnu narayan that saran chatatva actually is getting manifested here and that is the actual vilas murti of krishna narayan that tadiya ansh that same purusha avatar that karno nadakshai mahavishnu karbo dakshai and shiro dakshai mahavishnu getting manifested different differently and tadiya ansh means tadiya tadiya ansh shiro shiro dakshai that kind of vishnu tatva is getting manifested into different forms that kind of vishnu tatva is getting manifested into different tatva that same khiro dakshai mahavishnu by that tatva nirupan of that khiro dakshai mahavishnu that saransh leela is getting manifested in front of us that satguna avatar that vishnu tatva that satguna avatar vishnu tatva that is actually not at all getting mixed with all the mic uh, uh, maya tatva at all it is not at all getting uh, mixed with that that the swarup of govind what you can find that is also that is just made of shuddha sattva shuddha sattva swarup in that all the time it is actually uh, transcendently present in that and vishnu that vishnu tatva along with govind that kind of saman dharma vishishta it is actually getting oneness with the govind tatva and that kind of sattva gun which we can see in maya that rajo rajas tamogun that it is getting a mixture with that but still uh, it is not at all possible that vishnu tatva can mix with that that brahma ji in uh, is actually getting divided uh, divided into rajogun and that creation work is being done and shambhu is getting uh, established in the tamogun that's why the destruction of the creation is being done by bhagwan by that shambhu tatva and same vishnu tatva himself is getting manifested in the form of satgun in that uh, and mixture of satra jo and tamo so that is the actual it is coming in maya tatva it is not getting ad mixed with the maya tatva at all so whatever be the case the word that vishnu that purna saransh avatar saransh vilas maheshwar that is not at all under the uh, influence of maya at all maybe that it is the actual avatar of mahesh only but still it is out of the influence of maya it is not at all getting connected with maya at all so it means no influence will be there of maya tatva so that same govinda that sakatva of govind in the manifested form all actually is coming this kind of discussion that is sak of the sakatva of govinda but if you are making an actual vichar then in this there is no kind of fault at all there is no fault at all in this if you can make this kind of vichar why this uh, mahavishnu that all these kind of things in that on on the actual mool of all the uh, thing is bhagwan bhagwan vishnu only shiro dakshai mahavishnu and dharma moolam im vishnu met sector and different different shlokas are significant vishnu tatva and all the demigods are also under their guidance only the vishnu tat that same all are the vilas murti of govind that mahavishnu is getting manifested garbodakshai garbodakshai and karanodakshai ramadi saransh that different different kind of vishnu tatva which you can see according to the conditions it is getting manifested that they are actually the by the chit shakti of govind they are getting manifested which we can see all the time they are manifesting there just by the chit shakti of govind to so all, all brahma samhita what we can find inside that that just by making this which are all kind of tatva it is getting manifested in front of us so that we can understand it completely and uh, some kind of tatvik vichar is also there in brahm samhita on the basis of brahm samhita we will be discussing bhagwan 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 is param tatva and this 
what discussion we are actually have done already on the basis of that in a very just in very uh, conclusive form if i want to speak then this uh, guru what you mean by guru parampara that all for all the gurus that actually adi guru is bhagwan it's all written that just by the kripa that adi adi pati brahma is getting the instruction from bhagwan that adi kavi adi father brahma is actually getting the instruction from narad then from narad to vyas so like this guru parampara is actually flowing <coughs> so actually by this that from same guru parampara that the exactly the same siddhant vichar and power is actually coming through us in front of us through guru parampara so this is the actual utility of guru parampara if in between some kind of instruction of this uh, is actually getting some breakage then that same guru parampara it will just stop so that's why prabhupad speaking that speaking that mantra parampara and bhagavat parampara is getting uh, is dividing that and uh, and mantra parampara and bhagavat parampara he is actually divide he is actually connecting both of them prabhupad bhakti sanan saraswati thakur di prabhupad if that vish, vishuddha parampara if the vishuddha parampara that it is that vishuddha parampara is not at all there if the arrangement of vishuddha parampara is not at all there by that that exactly the same that instruction and power of uh, is from up and down is all the same then there will be opposite that amanai prahatatva according to that that bhagwan is that param tatva that bhagwan that vedukt and is getting glorified by all the vedas by vedas only bhagwan is getting manifested and that vedas is the words and by a word only we can understand about that brahma tatva that jeev is actually tatastha that bhagwan ka amal bhajan that to do the actual bhajan of bhagwan that is the actual duty of all the jeevas that is the amnay prahatatvam about this i have already discussed that who is bhagwan about that in brahm samhita on the basis of the vichar of brahm samhita that those by on the basis of that achinta shakti all the jivas and all the material creation which is getting manifested in front of us that they are thinking just by their achinta shakti that they can understand their achinta swarup separately that about that which i have already told you those that say same bhagwan by his achinta shakti that he is doing the creation work and different different kind of jivas as get and getting uh, uh, in manifested inside the heart of each and every jiva and after that by just by his achinta shakti he is doing all the manifestation of this uh, um, uh, cosmic manifestation and getting uh, inside the heart of each and every jiva as parmatma and just by bhakti only that bhagwan can become the actual vishe of darshan for all the jivas and he is actually and the actual achinta shakti how how many types of shakti of bhagwan are having different different kind infinity shakti is there it is not at all possible to manifest that in front of you shakti of bhagwan is infinite that bhagwan is having infinity shakti and we are we are finite jivas that because of that that bhagwat shakti is called parashakti that is why and for us in front of us of that kind of which are in front of us is not at all there like that that bhagwan parashakti bhagwan's parashakti for that that for bhagwan everything is possible by bhagwan we are actually very small jivas finite jivas for because of that we cannot understand what is bhagwat tatva and we are actually covered by maya and we can just can get grasped by maya very easily because we are finite very small microscopic in nature and bhagwan by his own tatva bhagwan is actually having that adhit tatva that bhagwan is only one that topmost param vastu that shakti that shakti is not one object 
that this bhagwan that this is not that not very small finite object it is that that one object if this kind of uh, which are we are making then some kind of fault can come in that error can errors can come it that according to the vedant which are this which are if someone actually can understand that bhagwan is actually separate identity and shakti is different it's not like that like the case that you uh, that fire is actually uh, igniting and inside that uh, fire that dahika shakti in order to burn that that kind of power is there in fire in the same way that bhagwan and the shakti of bhagwan is non different that bhagwan may be he is that param tattva but how mahaprabhu has given us the krishna krishna bhakti updesh why he has given to us so this question will come in front of us the actual nitya gun transcendental uh, qualities of uh, bhagwan is that he is infinity that some some kind of uh, manifestation of some qualities of the bhagwat swarup that can get manifest very easily in front of us like varaha swarup when varaha dev has just manifested his past times what kind of shakti is required when varaha dev will come when varaha dev will get avatrit on this material world have it is only one and the same vishnu tattva when ram will come then how that how shakti can come and can manifest himself in different different forms so this all kind of different different specialities what you can see so this all kind of specialities that kind of uh, adi prakash of all the different gunas it maybe it can be having more or less so definitely some kind of difference is there in that here aishwarya pradhan prakash and narayan par brahma parat parakleshwan narayan having that topmost opulent mood and where shri and madhurja their vrindavan chandra nandanandan shri krishna is actually getting manifested so this kind of bhagavata of krishna is getting manifested in different different forms according to the bhava and stages of the devotees and after that the swarup of bhagwan how much it is of uh, types different different types that bhagwa swarup is of different types that is chinmay but it it is by seeing it is actually different it is leela may that we should the prem may swarup of bhagwan that by vishuddha bhakti by prem bhakti only you can understand bhagwan in complete that what kunti devi has told that you are for all the akinchan bhakt just by prema only you reveal yourself uh, as yourself and according to the manner uh, different uh, mannerism of the jivas different behavior of jivas they are uh, that according to the behavior and sanskar of jivas according to that difference in that that uh, that individual different different swarup of uh, jivas from infinity time which you can see according to that bhagavat tatv is getting manifested it's very easy to understand that this jiva from infinity time he according to his sanskar and his behavior according to his own sanskar and behavior and according to his characteristics and uh, that each and every chit particle of jiva having that uh, transcendental swarup that have infinity speciality and infinity differences there according to that jivas that kind of same speciality and difference because of that that there is actually diversity in prakriti just because of that so that different different kind of prakriti we can see just because of different kind of the diversity of jivas are there so like the case some actually is getting the form of monkey some are getting the form of different different jivas so this krishna swarup he is actually nitya ananda may swarup that to understand that is very much important so here i will be just uh, giving rest and uh, from uh, now we have to in next week we will be discussing by the kripa of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan we will be discussing shri shri ragunath das ko swami pads man shiksha we will be discussing that in front of you by the kripa of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan on the kodiya darshan vichar that kind of uh, special uh, commentary 
आई विल बी जस्ट मैनिफेस्टिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू जस्ट बाय द कृपा ऑफ भगवान एंड टुडे अप टिल दिस पॉइंट दिस ब्रह्म संहिता वी विल फिनिश दैट इज द लास्ट 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 थिंग एंड टुडे वी विल बी जस्ट आई एम एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट टुडे इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ ब्रह्म संहिता So it is uh, today. Actually, Brahm Samhita is getting over today. So just forgive me for that. Uh, today is the end of the end of the discussion of Brahm Samhita. Pancha kalpaturushe ke pasindu be, patitanan pavanibhyo, Vishnu bhyo namo.